As you can see here, I am using 2.932 for this example. All right, first thing we need to do, if you still have your default cube, leave it there because we will need it. I'm going to go ahead and add it because my uh, blender starts off without a default cube. So we're going to start off with the cube. First thing we need to do is let's just go ahead and go to front side view by pressing 1. And I generally put this in orthographic view because it makes more sense to my old mind. So I'm going to scale this on the z-axis. And of course this cube right, right here is going to make up the pillow itself, not the case. Alright, so we're going to scale it on the z-axis. Press S for scale and then Z for the z-axis and then point one. Enter. Alright, <clears throat> now let's go to top side view and we need to scale it on the x-axis. We're going to make it twice as long as it is wide. So press S for scale, X, and then 2, enter. All right, now, before we go into edit mode, press Control A and apply the scale. Now press Tab and go into front side view one more time and come down here to the loop cut tool and let's add uh, if it actually select it, let's add one loop cut right here along the edge. Alright, now let's go in the top side view and let's add a loop cut at the top and this time let's bring this up to probably, probably 30. That's about right. And then right here on this edge, add a loop cut, and then adjust this to probably about 25. 20 is probably 20 is probably more accurate. All right. Now that right there is going to be our pillow itself. So let's go ahead and press Tab to exit edit mode, and let's give this some. Um, cloth properties. So let's click on the physics properties tab, click on cloth, and on the quality steps let's turn this up to 6 and let's come down here to pressure because we want air pressure inside this um, pillow to inflate it so it looks puffy like a um, pillow would be. Let's set this to, let's say, 5. We may adjust that later. I'm not 100% sure. And then come down here to Collisions. And on Quality, turn this up to 5. And then on check this box for Self Collision. And that's about right. That, yeah, I'd say that's about the, the settings are pretty much correct at this point. All right, now let's go ahead and add a floor. Add mesh floor, and this floor is just so we can get our physics correct. Because we, whenever we use physics to create this pillow, the pillow is going to want to fall, so it has to have something to fall on. So we're going to just scale this floor up, kind of arbitrary amount. Press Control A. It just needs to be big enough for the pillow to land on. And then we're just going to grab it on the Z axis, G for grab, and then Z axis, and then bring it down somewhere around here. Doesn't have to be perfect. All right, now we need to give this floor a collision uh, attribute. That way, the soft body physics that govern cloth know that it's supposed to impact the floor. All right, <clears throat> and the settings are pretty much correct. Just leave it like it is. All right, now to show you what this pillow looks like, at this point we can just click play, and there we go, we got a pillow. It's got a little bit too much air in it, so what we need to do, select the pillow again, come back over here to the physics tab, come down here to pressure, and probably set this to four. Now let's try this one more time just to see if what it looks like. 
Yeah, that, that's about right. Maybe just slightly too much pressure. Change this to three. Click play. All right, that's probably about right. It's it's kind of a subtle difference, but if you look at it from the side, it's probably still a little thick. So let's go ahead and change this to two. All right, see now that looks more realistic. It's small difference, but all right. Now we're going to put a pillowcase around this. And the pillowcase is going to be formed based on the movements of this pillow as it expands. So what we need to do, we need to add another attribute to this pillow. We need to also make that a collision object. And it needs to be a collision object. Part, that's I need to go to the physics tab, not the modifiers tab. We need to add a collision uh, attribute to it. That way, whenever the pillowcase essentially falls and rests on this, this pushes the pillowcase into shape. It becomes an object or a collision object for the pillowcase itself. I hope that makes sense. All right, now let's go ahead and create the pillowcase. Once again, I'm pressing one to go into front side view, and I'm going to start off with a cube. But before we do that I'm going to put this in wireframe so we can actually see what we're doing inside so I'm going to press add mesh and then add a cube now I'm going to scale this on the z-axis S for scale Z for the z-axis and then just bring it about there it doesn't have to be perfect but you don't want it too close to start you want a little bit of gap and probably a rule of thumb would be about the size of the subdivisions that would be you want about that much gap that's at least been my observations now press 7 to go on the top side view and let's scale this on the y axis scale y and the same rule of thumb about one subdivision worth of space maybe a little bit more but I wouldn't go less than that now let's scale it on the x axis s for scale x and do the same thing here except well actually we don't want to do the same thing on the x-axis because on pillowcases you have a little bit of overlap you know it's they're generally longer than the pillow itself alright so we made it a little bit longer maybe two and a half subdivisions longer on each end and then press G for grab and then X and then just move it about here making sure you leave about one subdivisions width uh, from the edge and the reason why I'm saying one subdivision is because if you get less than that sometimes it gets a little glitchy and I'm not 100% sure why but that's something I've noticed you need a little bit of a gap alright now let's press control A and apply the scale alright now with this uh, pillowcase selected we're going to go back into solid view and then we're going to press tab to go into edit mode all right now let's go to the loop cut tools and let's go ahead and add a loop cut going around the edge right here and then right here let's add a loop cut and we'll turn this up to let's say 30 that's probably about right and then a loop cut going this direction and we'll set this to 15 you can see the idea is to make square um, loop cuts so it kind of has uniform bending ability I guess you could say wonder why that's doing that up here or if I click on it, it's not wanting to change or unselect the tools. That's just weird. I don't understand why it's doing that. I've only seen that happen a few times. All right, now we need to select all these faces on this end. I'm just going to press C to bring up circle select and then left click to drag and then just select all those on the end and then press delete faces. All right, now let's go ahead and press tab to exit edit mode and we'll uh, add a cloth attribute 
to this. And we're going to name this one pillowcase. And this one will name pillow. All right. Now, we have this on the physics tab right here, and we need to make sure we kind of um, make sure the settings are similar. All right. So we're on the pillow. Let's go to the pillowcase. We need to change this to six because I don't remember exactly all the settings I set earlier. But one thing for sure, we do not need to add any pressure to the pillowcase. The pillow will add the pressure. All right. So let's come down here to the collisions. And I have this set to five. So let's duplicate that here. All right. I have self collision turned on I believe yeah and that's pretty that's pretty much it just make sure you have everything but the pressure duplicated in the settings all right now I think we're ready to go at this point just click play and hope it don't crash by all means go ahead and save your file if you want to that way if it crashes you don't have to start back over I'm fairly sure it's not gonna crash so I'm just gonna go ahead and press play all right, now see, we got our pillowcase that was inflated by the pillow itself. And at this point, if it's the way we want it, and if we want to get a better idea, of, I'm, I'm pretty sure this is, how I'm, I, this is how I want it. All right, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to select the pillowcase because that's actually going to be our pillow. The rest of it we don't need. I'm going to come up here to the modifiers tab and then click apply and then I can go ahead and get rid of this the actual pillow itself inside because we don't need it because all we need now is the pillowcase because you can't really see inside of it anyway and we can come over here to the modifiers tab and then just add a subdivision surface modifier and we need to add a solidify modifier and probably on the negative uh, negative uh, Z thickness minus 0.02 all right that made the thickness go outward all right that's about what we need just kind of look at it there's no uh, intersections which is what we want and so that's pretty much how we need it and then come up here to object and then set this on smooth shading to kind of make it look better and then we're just gonna we can just give it a material alright I'm back I had to step away from the computer for a minute I had to do something I'm just making this a basic blue color and we can add see we'll drag this down and we'll change this to the uh, uh, shader editor and we'll add a little bit of a noise texture to this just to add a little bit of it, something. Add, uh, uh, where am I at? Texture, noise texture. And we'll bring this down here and then add a bump node. Add, search, bump, enter or select plug that into the height bring that to the normal and I'm gonna go ahead and put this in render view so we can actually see what it what it looks like if it's going to ever do it alright now we definitely need to make this more rough and we'll probably increase the scale but lower the factor down or the strength down to point 0.1 alright now that looks kinda soft like a you would think a pillow would be probably a little bit too strong 0.05 alright and bump up the detail to 16 And there we go. It kind of looks like a fuzzy little pillowcase, which 
you know, not bad. All right, if you have any questions about how to go about doing this, uh, let me know, and I will try to answer you in the comments. Later, people.